And now on to a story from Chicago, where a federal appeals court ruled on how responsible government higher-ups, like Donald Rumsfeld, are for their actions of their underlings. Back in 2006, two American military contractors, Donald Vance and Nathan Ertel, claimed they were detained and tortured in Iraq after they accused their Iraqi-run employer of illegally running guns. The, quote, interrogation methods used on Vance and Ertel allegedly included solitary confinement, sustained loud music, extreme temperatures, and so-called walling, in which the men were blindfolded and walked into walls. Vance and Ertel tried to sue Donald Rumsfeld, the Secretary of Defense at the time, for personally approving of these interrogation methods. Last year, a federal court ruled the men had standing to do so. However, yesterday's 8-3 to three ruling on appeal said that the men had no ground to sue Rumsfeld because he was not personally responsible for sub subordinates crossing the line. Rumsfeld attorney saw this as a good thing. David Rivkin said, quote, this was not about Rumsfeld at all. It was about future decision makers who need to be able to deal with national security issues without having to worry that they'll be sued for decisions they made after they leave office. However, the dissenting opinion on this case was alarmed at the blanket immunity offered to people like Rumsfeld. Judge David Hamilton said, quote, the disparity uh, attributes to our government and to our legal system a degree of hypocrisy that is breathtaking. Now, these men are considering appealing the decision. The Supreme Court could ultimately decide whether our leaders should be personally held responsible for those life and death decisions they make in a professional capacity.